Russia and Vladimir Putin have officially invaded the U.S. housing market. That's right, everyone. Strap in and buckle up for some turbulence because Russia's physical invasion of Ukraine is going to lead to massive economic devastation across not only the world, but in America. We are likely to see even higher rates of inflation going forward, as well as an increased risk of a worldwide recession. Both of these things mean that the U.S. housing market has an even greater likelihood of crashing in 2022. In terms of inflation, both Russia and Ukraine are big producers of oil and agriculture, and it's very likely that we're going to see disrupted supply chains in these countries. That means higher oil prices, higher agriculture prices, and even higher inflation than we've been seeing. Through January 2022, the U.S. inflation level reached 7.5% over the last year. That was the highest level in four decades, and that's about to get even worse due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In practical terms, that means you as a consumer in America are going to have to spend more money on goods and services, and you're going to have less in your pocket, which is going to be bad for you financially. But in terms of higher inflation's impact on the U.S. housing market, well, that's a more complicated discussion. There's really two schools of thought. The first says that more inflation is good for the housing market and good for home prices. The logic goes that more inflation means that the cost of homes is going to go up, that rents are going to go up, and that eventually wages are going to go up to support current prices. Typically, real estate investors adopt this mindset that owning real estate is good in a time of inflation. However, there's a whole other argument that inflation is bad for the housing market and bad for home prices. This argument suggests that higher inflation makes it less likely for home buyers to be able to afford homes. I mean, after all, you're going to have less money in your pocket with inflation, which gives you less money to afford a down payment. The second thing that typically occurs during periods of inflation is higher mortgage and interest rates, something we're already seeing. When mortgage and interest rates go up, that means the cost of ownership goes up, which typically pushes prices down. The idea of inflation being bad for the housing market and lowering prices is one typically adopted by regular home buyers. And so with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, meaning that we're going to have higher inflation in the future, it's important to understand which of these arguments is the correct one. And I want you to think about that for a second. Do you think inflation is good for the housing market and future home prices? Or do you think inflation is bad for the housing market and it's going to lower home prices? I'm going to reveal the answer to you later in this video. But first, we need to address the second negative impact that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is going to have on the U.S. economy and housing market, and that's the increased risk of a big recession. The U.S. economy appears to be booming on many fronts. There's lots of job openings, the unemployment rate is low, and GDP growth is high. However, there's a prevailing sense in both America and the world that the underlying economy is not so healthy. It turns out that despite the seemingly strong headlines in the economy, Americans and people across the world don't feel very confident in the economic future future and that potentially Russia invading Ukraine could destabilize a fragile economic system and lead to big job losses, which would of course be bad for the U.S. housing market. And you can get a sense of this by looking at this graph, which comes from the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey, and it shows that Americans' long-term prospects for the economy, how confident Americans are in sustained economic growth, that is plummeting. And over the last year, you can see there's been an absolute crash and collapse in Americans' expectations expectations for the future economy. More and more Americans are expecting a recession or expecting a contraction. And you can see the current levels today on this reading are about the same that they were in 06, 07, right before the worst recession and worst housing crash that America experienced in the last 70 years. And with so many Americans feeling negative about the future economy, that means that a Russian invasion of Ukraine, which further reduces confidence, which further increases inflation and hits Americans' wallets, that could be the spark plug that ignites another recession, another situation where lots of Americans lose their jobs and lots of Americans don't have money. Potentially, this Russian invasion of Ukraine is not maybe the underlying thing that causes it, but it could be the spark that causes another recession, which would, of course, be very bad for the U.S. housing market. It would lead to lower home prices. It would also be very bad for the economic and financial system in general. But ultimately, it's difficult to predict if a recession is around the corner. I think the most likely impact of the Russian invasion of Ukraine is what I brought up before, higher inflation. And now we need to return to that question of, is inflation good for the housing market in terms of causing prices to go up more in the future? Or is inflation bad for the housing market and something that could cause a housing crash? Well, to answer that question, a useful thing to consider is interest in mortgage rates. In times of inflation, it's typical that interest in mortgage rates go up, and that's something we're already seeing happening. The 30-year fixed mortgage rate in America has surged to 4.2% over the last two months. It was 3.2% two months ago. Now it's 4.2%. That massive jump in mortgage rate 
rates to go along with home prices that are up by 20% year over year means that if you want to buy a house today, you're paying 30% more in terms of your mortgage costs and your ownership costs than you were one year ago. This of course is pricing many regular home buyers out of the market. They can't afford the down payments. They can't afford the mortgage payments and higher inflation means they have less money to spend on those things in general. This could be why we're starting to see a big crash in home sales in America. Pending home sales were down 6% in the most recent months. We're also seeing mortgage applications plummet. Mortgage purchase applications are down 20% over the last three weeks. And these declines in demand are being heavily driven by higher mortgage rates. So if we have more inflation resulting from the Russia-Ukraine crisis, it's likely to push mortgage and interest rates up further over the next three to six months. The Federal Reserve, which was already starting to get serious about tightening its monetary policy, banks are expecting seven rate hikes in 2022, and the Fed is going to start quantitative tightening over the next couple months, which basically takes money out of the system. Well, if we have even more inflation, the Fed is likely going to have to get more aggressive on that monetary tightening, which is going to put interest and mortgage rates up further. And if interest and mortgage rates go up even further, that's likely to crash the U.S. housing market. And you can tell why on this graph where we're looking at inflation adjusted home prices in America going back to 1890, over 130 years. And you can see that traditionally home prices in the U.S. relative to inflation are stable. But then that all changed starting in the late 90s. We had a big run up in home prices through 05, 06. Prices got to be almost 100% above the level of inflation, and then they crashed down through 2011. Now we're in another situation where home prices are over 100% more than the level of inflation. So if you increase interest in mortgage rates in this situation, in this gigantic bubble, it's going to bring the whole charade down. It's going to cause a massive crash. And so going back to that original question of is inflation good or bad for the housing market, I believe that the home buyer perspective is more relevant and more applicable in today's environment because regular home buyers still comprise a vast majority of home demand in America. And if you jack up the interest in mortgage rates further and you jack up inflation further, it's going to reduce their demand significantly. Real estate investors, on the other hand, aren't as impacted by by higher mortgage and interest rates. However, they are vastly outnumbered by regular home buyers. And if regular home buyers drop out of the market and drop out of the market significantly, it's gonna crash the housing market no matter what investors do. And so the real thing you need to understand about Russia's invasion of Ukraine is its impact on inflation. And that we're likely to see already our record high levels of inflation go further. But this inflation is not necessarily going to be beneficial to the housing market. The higher inflation and the higher mortgage rates that go along with it make it more difficult for you as a home buyer to qualify for a mortgage and afford a house. Home prices have never been more expensive in U.S. history than they are today. The only other time they were even close was 2005-2006. We all know what happened after that. And so while many investors in the U.S. housing market mistakenly believe that higher inflation means more people need to buy, it's the exact opposite. And these investors are eventually going to get swarmed by all of the regular home buyers who drop out. Now, folks, I want to hear your thoughts on this topic. What do you think of Russia's invasion of Ukraine? And what do you think the economic and financial impacts are going to be specifically on the U.S. housing market? And I really want to hear what you think about inflation. Is inflation something that makes you more likely to want to buy a home? Or is it something that makes you less likely to want to buy a home. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback below. Do you agree or disagree with the things I said in this video? Make sure to leave a comment and also make sure to smash that like button. That's the best way you can support this channel and help me get this data out to more people. Also, make sure to become a subscriber. I come out with three of these data-driven videos per week on the U.S. economy and housing market. You're not going to want to miss this content going forward now that we have such crazy things happening in the economic and financial system. So make sure you're a subscriber. All right, everyone. Until next time, this is Nick from ReVenture Consulting signing off.